Uh, but like, if you're having Arrowhead, I think Arrowhead tastes like dirt. Mm. There is some water substitution. And when you put Crystal Light in it, it just makes the world a better place. Maddie says we'll be able to come to Chicago today. Yes, as soon as the state opens up again. And Tony said, everybody better behave. So I'm gonna take her free as short as possible. I'm using a 240 grit file because you guys know you do not need something super coarse to clean out the phalanges. And you guys don't forget that most orders are shipping now same day. which is great for those of you that need your products now. And we also have expedited shipping on orders here in the US as well too. So if you want your stuff next day, that is an option. If you do order it before a certain time, it will go out that day for next day shipping. You don't play around. So I'm gonna use the diamond moon bit just to remove the shine off the natural nail. We have viewers from Australia. Hi, good day, mate. From where? Guatemala. Oh, un saludo a Guatemala. Como se le dice la gente de Guatemala? Chapines, chapines. We're going to use the diamond moon bit. And we're also going to remove the shine off the natural nail at the same time. Go in and clean, clean, clean. This is just a great way to prep the nail with very minimal damage. A lot of people ask, do the 123 Go nails not damage the natural nail? And the answer is any nail when applied properly will not damage the natural nail. So it just comes down to how you prep your nail. So we have to be really conscious about user error when prepping the natural nail. And this bit is super fine as well too, so it's not going to take off like 500,000 layers of nail, which is so unnecessary. What speed do you use when prepping? Um, it depends, that's actually a great question. Right now I'm using my machine at 8,000 RPM, but a very important thing is to not use absolutely any pressure when prepping, okay? You want to let the bit do the work for you. So now we're going to remove the dust off the nail. And then we're going to use one coat of nail prep and this is going to dehydrate the nail bed and balance out the pH. And then we're going to do one coat of primer. Cool. Yeah. Right. Ursula says she's still rocking the nails you did. That is fabulous. That's how long the one, two, three, go nails last. How long did you have your nails on, Sam? Ooh, a week. A long time ago. I think we did them Christmas Eve or something like that, or before. I don't even remember. Sometime last year, I know it was that. So, long. so we're gonna get the French mini sculpted coffin. It's Samantha. And we're gonna measure them. Her nail beds are tiny. So the mini sculpted shape fits perfectly. Because her nail beds are so small. French mini sculpted coffin. The mini sculpted is like my favorite. Really? Yeah. I think on Marissa we didn't actually do mini sculpted. I think we did the regular the round. round. But they look beautiful though.
Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. How do you know when you need to replace the practice? When they're not prep anymore. And it just depends also on how many nails you do. If you're really busy and you do a lot of customers or you use them a lot, then you need to replace them quite frequently. But if you're more of a casual user, then they would last a lot longer. We're going to use, of course, pink press-on gel. And remember the sculpted series is already pre etched So we're going to take pink press-on gel. We're going to do our express technique. Apply it halfway on the nail bed. Apply a little bit of press-on gel on the inside, right at the cuticle area. Remember, leave a little bit of space at the nail bed, okay? And freeze. G'day, <laughs> guys. Can I shift for El Tiburon, El Tiburon? The cuticle area, make sure there's no bubbles. Can you use the flashy to um, gear the polish? No. Flashy is only like to freeze it in place, but you need a whole lamp in order to make sure that it dries properly. So, like the flashy can freeze it in place so that way it won't move, but it won't dry it all the way. It's not strong enough. Unless you hold the flashy for like 20 minutes to the nail. Look at that, isn't that like super perfect, you guys? So pretty. Love the music. Some merengue. She dancing in the background. That's a vibe, guys. Make sure we load it up really well. Remember, leave a little bit of space and freeze. Hold the flashy for about 10 to 15 seconds. It's a little bit colder right now, so it takes a little bit longer for it to freeze because the gel is thicker. Because remember, the colder it is, the thicker the gel. The hotter it is, the thinner the gel will become. And I like it so cold, it's like a Morgan here. Literally, guys. <laughs> it's like 50 degrees in here. It keeps us awake, though. <laughs> and it's also great for bacteria, too. It keeps the bacteria count low. Marissa's song. Oh, that's nice. So for my, all of my short nail lovers out there, these nails are perfect for you. Hi from Ireland. Delaware. We've got Delaware in the house. Remember when you're freezing it, press down firmly to make sure you don't got any bubbles in the nail. Ugh. I still refuse to pay for a YouTube premium. It's so expensive. $15 is ridiculous. $15 for that? I think that's how much YouTube premium is. Mm. Isabel said, Hi Max from San Benito, Texas. I'm Hi. Don't forget you guys, I'm going to be having a two-day class in Houston, April 3rd and 4th. The class is super affordable. You can pay the class also with Afterpay as well too. They are so much fun. They are an incredible two-day educational event. And I'm so excited to visit the Lone Star State. Have some brisket. You don't got. <laughs> what did I say when I said you don't got? 
Look at my hair getting in my eyes. It's so long. It's like I'm wearing a wig. A bad one. A bowl cut wig. Wasn't that a thing back then? Everyone had a bowl cut? Yeah, like in the 60s, I think. My brother Like a mushroom, they called it in Spanish. Look at that, you guys. Aren't they, like, perfect? Aren't they? And you don't to do anything to Yeah, the more we tailor them, the more of an advanced technique it is. But, I mean, if you want to leave them just like that, you, you can't get away with it. Yes, very like early 2000s emo. I just need like the raccoon eyeliner. You don't got no bubbles. You don't get any bubbles. There will be no bubbles with the express technique. Diana's asking if you're doing white tips on any of the other short Uh, Yes, the square will be getting a French as well. Sculpted mini square will be getting a French version and a ombre as well too. And we might do a oval ombre later on. I'm from Idaho. Maybe your allergy isn't to HEMA, maybe it's something else, because a number of products have HEMA in them. Or maybe you're also getting like too much product on the skin too, so you need to be careful with how much you're applying. Like Active Almond and Sport will... Sport already comes in Ombre, but it will not come in French. Look at that, aren't they beautiful? And now we're going to bake this for our women. What kind of coffee are you drinking? Um, it's the original blend from Dunkin' Donuts. I really like Dunkin' Donuts too. A lot of people don't like it, but I like Dunkin' Donuts. It's so good. The original blend. And they said it has this caramel taste to it. Oh, Starbucks has a pistachio flavor. I haven't tried it yet. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried the Starbucks pistachio flavor. Oh my gosh, and today I had Japanese food again. So good, the restaurant that I found. What is that? I had um, onigiri, which is like a rice ball. It's very like Japanese comfort food. And it had mayonnaise and tuna in it. So, so good. I feel elegant for some reason. Really? <laughs> but aren't they adorable, you guys? I was actually thinking about making a little bit more round. What do you think, Sam? Rounder? Mm-hmm. So we're going to take the 240 grit file and we're really gently, gently, gently going to tailor the nail. Because remember, if you file any part of the white, it will come off because the white is hand painted on every single nail. I'm just going to round them out just a little bit. Just to give her like a very nice squirrel shape. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is very secretarial, very 80s secretary. Can I have a squirrel shape, please? Isabel said you should do French or ombre on the toenails. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah, but you can paint it, and I've done videos on how you can do it yourself as well, too. You know what short French nails remind me of too? Quinceañeras. Yeah. Because <laughs> back in the day, all the girls would get like French for their quinces, for their quinceañera. Mm. 
Noelia, qué buena música, Mar. Estás activo desde Honduras. Saludos, Honduras. ¿Está lista para bailar? Yo creo allá. Look at Antonia, she got the fangs out. Yes, come through fangs. So to get a nice squovo shape, you file the free edge at a 45 degree angle, and then go in, taper, taper, straight, straight. And there you go, beautiful squovo. So now I'm gonna blend in the cuticle to make it look really, really seamless. I'm going to take the famous pink carrot bit, which is one of my favorites. blend avoiding the bunny ears of the smile line will these steps be available in Canada? Uh, you can message Eno Couture Canada and they'll be able to further assist you I know that Canada is getting a restock really soon so they'll probably be able to let you know what they're getting or when they're getting it things like that more than I could already working on it but it probably won't be launched until maybe like maybe mid to end of February but press on gel doesn't have HEMA in it already though but remember if you're gonna the a more sensitive a product is which means like less heat spike and things like that it will not be as strong so that gel I'll give more details about it when it's ready to launch but um, I don't want to spoil the surprise though but it will come in a tube actually so right now I'm using the laser bits to really go in and snatch, snatch, snatch. Look at that, so flawless. And this really gives you just the same look as an acrylic or a hard gel sculpted nail. It just makes it so consistent, so blended, so sealed, absolutely no lifting, no crusty molesties. And we are using the laser bit, okay? The dust. My pinky nail looks so small. It is. You're wearing the smallest one, 11. So I'm going to trim her non living tissue. I'm going to take my pink cuticle scissors if I can find them. Is there a discount code at the Uh, no. Where are my scissors? Oh, my nippers. Where did Gloria put them? Gloria, come through Gloria. Oh, I thought my nippers. Moving things around. Home nippers. And just trim whatever is not living, whatever is waving at me. Beautiful. 
So now we're going to take our primer and we're going to put it around the cuticle area because remember this will actually blend in and melt that cuticle area so that way that shiny gel sticks really beautifully. Make sure there's no dust or any crusties. Because remember, you cannot take a file or a buffer to the top surface of these nails because it will ruin the French or the ombre finish. It's so satisfying to watch you turn the cuticle. Really? And the great thing about our primer is because it is acid free, it will not burn or irritate the skin. Are you going to leave that set back? No, we're going to leave her nice and classy today. Just very, very classy. Because it's her quinceanera. Give that a few seconds to dry. I didn't even do my nails for my quinceanera. Really? Yeah, I went like that same day. I was gonna, my quinceanera was supposed to be on the whole place was open. Was your quinceanera like on a Sunday or something? Yeah. It was? If it was a Saturday, it should have been open though. Yeah, but nice a lot of shiny. Like, cool so they didn't have any appointments? Yeah, just came, so. I remember when I had my salon too. This lady came in and she was like, Max, I need you to help me because it's your quinceanera today and I need you to do her nails. And it was like a holiday weekend too. And I was like, we can't squeeze her in. And she's like, but it's your quinceanera. And I was like, I understand that, but we're booked. What was that that you put around the cuticles? Primer. It was a non-acid primer from enocouture.com. You have to make sure it is a non-acid primer. Because if you use an acid primer, she's going to be burning. Look at that. It looks just like a sculpted nail. Okay, now we're going to bake that for one minute. With, of course, cotton candy cuticle oil. And I do believe that this bottle is out now. I think they finished up all the old ones, right? You would probably know better than I would, Sam. What? If this one's ready. No, like when you guys are shipping bottles of oil, are you guys using this one? Yeah. Oh yeah, so the new bottle is out now. So if you want to get that new cuticle oil bottle, now is the time to order. Aren't you doing that with all of the Yes. But I didn't know if this one was out yet or not. Yeah. They finished up all the old ones? Oh yeah. Oh great. I think today I've only set those. So let's wait 10 seconds. Aren't they lovely? They're so cute. They're very Marissa Ignacio. And I made a squabble. This is a squabble shape. But you like oval. I like squabble. You are the oval girl. I like squabble and oval. At first you were squabble. At first it was super square and then it went squabble and now I'm like oval. Oval. And next it'll be stiletto. And there you guys have it. How fast was that? They are just perfect, literally. So cute, and the length and the shape is adorable. 10 out of 10. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this Super Express demo. I hope you guys check out our French and our Ombre nails because it is literally killing the game, you guys. And don't forget that most orders have same day shipping now here at enocouture.com. Thank you so much for supporting American companies and American manufacturing, keeping jobs here in America. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.